Yo, what's up, guys? Another week has ended. Uh, we have to check what happened on gold and prepare for next week. So, um, as you can see, um, we just go straight to the point and then we, we, we do as fast as we can. Right, so this is gold and uh, going back to daily for us to have a look. And uh, we talk about what I said previously. Right, so we, let me take out... Um, my moving averages so that we can have a proper look all right so um, last week i spoke of price taking out the lows right price taking out these lows and you could see it happened and i said when it takes it out it's going to be attracted to take out this low and it has happened all right so what next we have a full candle here in daily so price taking out these lows um it's a there's it's, there is a possibility price retracing here right giving us a retracement and selling more or this um this high that was taken out could also serve as a barrier for price going lower so at this moment uh, if you are in a sell, you can still lock yourself in a profit or take some of your profit, right? Or you just, um, if you weren't able to be in this trade, you can't be in a trade now unless you get a good entry in a smaller time frame, right? So as I said from the beginning, that price taking out, for price from this top over here, taking out this low is a sign of a drop right and price did that with this trades week so the next day we had a retracement and price did what sold right so if you were to trade after a day closes that means this could have been your entry here right and you have to roll down with price all right so um with this we now have to look at price in another way another um, form So now, um, uh, going into 4 hour, let's see how price traveled. Um, okay, so in 4 hour, same thing, as I said, the equal lows, almost equal lows, this area, and price came to take it out, right? When price came to do its retracement, this was your entry. Okay, that was your entry to be part of this trade. Because now it has left a wick here, a longer wick, and that longer wick is attracted to this wick. It is closer to this wick. So now price has to take both of them what out. And that is what it did. So now we are waiting. If price will come back up, that means it's coming to take close, um, take liquidity at the top here. Right, coming to take liquidity at the top here and coming back down. Uh, I can hardly say it is good is going to do that I'm thinking of more drops now looking at what happened in 4 hour I'm still looking at more drops now so um, let's put price in its um, angles and let's see how it's gonna look like and as usual from the top to this guy giving your impulse move then from this area to this area giving your next move that is consolidation in a bigger time frame and uh, from uh, here to the first rejection point dragging it in as i said all, all the time in our previous videos this is what a symmetrical triangle or a pennant okay this is a continuation pattern so thinking of price with my tp calculator i'm thinking, thinking of price either using this breakout or using this breakout i'm thinking of price coming to somewhere 1800 so 1800 is a sure area that price is coming to before we see how price behave and then we take we, we we will know if we are going to continue or not so 1800 is our tp point let's see how price what travels with us
okay so this, that is it for gold i said it's going to sell i said it's going to drop if price doesn't take out the the, the that significant high and uh, which is uh, this one but if price buys and price is not able to close above this candle then we are what selling right i said if you close above it then we are buying but it didn't do that it rather what dropped below the last bearish candle right so th that's it so let's take advantage of this and uh, make money enjoy your day thank you and take care